told you about this before the break. With air travel increasing for spring break, flyer beware. Yeah, before you get stuck in the airport, 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Sidorowitz is verifying a question we've gotten a lot. Are airlines legally required to compensate you if your flight gets delayed or canceled? Delays, delays, delays. Staffing shortages on top of storms and COVID surges have made flight delays and cancellations more common lately than ever. But when it comes to what an airline owes you if you are left stranded, let's verify. Our sources are Kyle Potter with Thrifty Traveler, the Better Business Bureau, and the U.S. Department of Transportation. DOT policy on its website is pretty straightforward. In the United States, airlines are not required to compensate passengers when flights are delayed or canceled. In fact, the only time it's legally required is for certain passengers who get bumped from an oversold flight. Airlines have stretched themselves too thin. They've sold more flights than they can reliably operate when things go wrong. Thrifty Traveler editor Kyle Potter says a lot of the issues lately are because airlines significantly downsized at the start of the pandemic, but haven't caught back up with demand. Before the pandemic, the DOT averaged about 17,000 air travel related complaints each year. 8% were related to refunds. Since the pandemic, more than 125,000 air travel consumer complaints have been submitted. More than 84% are about refunds. You don't realize until you're sitting on the floor at the airport that U.S. travelers in this country have virtually no rights when an airline cancels or significantly delays their flight. So if airlines are not legally required to compensate you if your flight is delayed or canceled, what can you get if you're stuck? Well, many airlines do at the very least offer vouchers if they cancel your flight, but there's usually limited time frames to use them. And the Better Business Bureau says that you can insist on a full refund rather than a voucher. And when it comes to being out of money for a hotel or food or having to buy another ticket on a different carrier, since airlines aren't required to reimburse you for any of that, the BBB recommends you book with a credit card that offers trip protection or travel insurance. All right, so there you go. There is a bill in Congress that could change this called the Passenger's Bill of Rights. Among other things, it would require airlines to provide refunds, alternative transportation, even cover the cost of meals or hotels for flights delayed by more than four hours. But so far, the bill has gone nowhere.